Now, we, we talked about the very important RAN aspect. Um, what about the, the operations uh, of the network and the operation center? Are we looking at um, creating next generation operation centers, more IT centric? Um, and, and I think it's, it's coming from the fact that the IT world is very used to running lots of servers with very less number of people. Um, and I think from a, an, from a networks perspective, that's never been done before. I mean, we are used to having lots of people trying to actually manage those little bits and pieces and, and then try to cotton wool them, right? You know, put them in a very, very fragile kind of situation and not do any changes in the network so that I can put lots of people around it. Now, that has to be broken with this kind of ideology. And that has, can be only broken with lots of automation in place, lots of AI coming in, lots of things that machines will have to do for us. And that can help you reduce the overall operating costs. And that's what the next generation knock should look like. It should look like something like, you know, you've got a single person sitting there who can manage the whole network. Of course, that's a dream, but we can get there if we start believing in it. Now, when we use the term uh, cloud native uh, and apply it to a full cloud native network, what exactly does that mean in your case? Can you, can you talk, talk us through sort of core, core to, to, to edge uh, architecture? The, the way I would describe it is, again, starting with you must have this foundation layer. The foundation layer is the private cloud. And the private cloud cannot be one such that it's only delivering the workloads on large data center. So what we call our private cloud is a multi-data center, multi-tenancy architecture with mobile edge compute support from day zero. Mobile edge compute could only be enabled if you have user plane control plane separation into the architecture, which Rakuten already has. So second thing is the abstraction of this mystery about hardware. Our hardware, if you come to it, actually, maybe the first question you'll ask, my goodness, this looks like an IT server. Well, in fact, it is. There is nothing special about this hardware. So we, we purchased and developed our own hardware, but it is based on an x86 compute platform that is currently being deployed you know, at scale across the world. So that's another tenant that we've done, simplified our hardware architecture. It is not complex. It, the, the SKUs that are managing this network, there's only four SKUs. In a traditional telecommunication network, there is hundreds of hardware SKUs, and this hardware is highly proprietary. So in our case, it's definitely um, uh, a commodity. You know, the other, the other big tenets of cloud is elasticity. You know, how do you take capacity management that I call it in today's network as a brute force operation, where you have masses, massive number of people monitoring network, monitoring utilization, issuing purchase orders, monitoring build of material and installation, commissioning, integration. What a complex world. In our network, the entire workloads are elastic which means with a closed loop automation, the virtual machines of packet core or virtual machines that are running IMS core or even the radio axis detect that I have reached utilization and auto uh, scale up or scale down depending on the requirement. And these things do not require human being to really manage this uh, elasticity. And that's the, so when we talk about efficiency of cloud and cloud native, it is not just about the, the, the elegance of saying cloud native is what we're after. The end result is the operational efficiencies that this will deliver. That is the advantage of cloud after all. And so, um, uh, you know, and, and lastly, automation. So for us is the discovery of any manual effort, the way that we apply organizationally, our site reliability engineers, what they do is discover manual activity, define business logic and automate. So that's culture and DNA access. Automate, automate, automate. Remove everything that you used to do manually and deliver it through 100% automation. But I also would argue our way of automation is very, very different. In today's world, there's two ways to do automation. One called open loop automation that still requires a human being to look at the result that comes out of logic and then say, I accept and implement. In our case, we just have a complete closed loop automation meaning we, we trust that we have done a good job on building our AI machine learning algorithms and our business logic has been tested and validated and then we, made, we make it completely closed loop. I don't want to intervene you know, on any decision making um, uh, into this process. So I think that's also a very, very differentiated way of how we approach automation. 
can I close by asking both of you, um, you know, how, how are you going to continue collaborating together to get to the October launch and, and, and beyond? I mean, what, what more challenges are you, are you needing to look at and, and overcome? I think we as Tech Mahindra are, we are vendor agnostic SI. So we come in as a systems integrator. So we are fully committed to, to Rakuten's success. And for that reason, we are planning to continue to forge the partnership with various other areas of engagement. As expected, we would want to continue uh, to with the labs itself from going from strength to strength to deliver quality within the 5G labs. Um, and also ensure that the Rakuten launch in September, October timeframe happens smooth and it goes through fine. Um, we do expect to continue to engage in several other areas and that will be the future. Great. And yeah, I mean, I think, um, um, you know, t together with Tech Mahindra, our next big challenge that we have to address is building that next generation operational organization. So we, we're really having um, brilliant moments talking about the construct of this uh, North Star operational organization and how do we build the organization and structure to deliver uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, an operational headcount efficiency that has never been thought possible in telecommunication. So this is, um, I'm, I'm looking forward to continue this engagement because it requires people that think differently. And I think Tech Mahindra for us is a company that aligned very well with the DNA and culture uh, and we have common goal and objective. That will be our next big, big thing that we want to do together. Great. Well, gentlemen, thank you both very much for joining me today. Thank you. Thank very you. Much. Thank you very much.